I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times, and this week I'm reviewing Unsane, a psychological thriller starring Claire Foy and directed by Steven Soderbergh. No. The council said the form's a routine. You signed it. Look, you're just doing your job, and uh, you've been so considerate of my feelings and my well-being. And you're right. I signed those papers. I'm here by my own volition. It's for my own good. Can I ask, do you think I could just make a phone call just to let my family know that I'm okay, let them know where I am? You got a phone call? That's allowed. Oh, you're so nice. You're saying you want your phone call now? Yes. Yes, that is what I'm saying. Oh my God, it's like you read my mind. Yes, hi, my name is Sawyer Valentini. I am at Highland Creek Behavioral Health Facility. I am being held here against my will. Please, send help. Thank you. I'll be out of here in like 20 minutes. Do you know how many calls the cops get like that every week? Those are from crazy people. It's wonderful, if unsurprising, to see that Steven Soderbergh's retirement from film directing was so short-lived. Hot on the heels of last year's terrific Logan Lucky, this nimblest of mainstream American filmmakers has taken on another genre experiment with Unsane, a 21st century riff on Gaslight shot entirely on an iPhone camera. Claire Foy, in a terrific change of pace from her role as Queen Elizabeth II on The Crown, plays a young American data analyst named Sawyer, who is trying to rebuild her life after fleeing from a mysterious stalker. But a seemingly routine counseling session results in her being involuntarily committed. And what looks at first like an insurance scam very quickly becomes something much more dangerous and unsettling. Unsane was made quickly and on the cheap, and it looks it. Soderbergh, always fascinated by the formal possibilities of the medium and the endless durability of genre, embraces the unabashed schlockiness of the material. Besides Foy's terrific work in the lead role, there are expert performances by Amy Irving, Jay Farrow, Juno Temple, and a deeply unnerving Joshua Leonard. There's also something more, a flicker of subtext that resonates particularly at a time when, as the news reminds us, we disbelieve women and their stories of abuse at our own peril. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.